champion, can I talk to you? And I ran the opposite direction. I was like, no, not yet. <laughs> Got something to do first. Uh, I have to go kill Deus. He's been waiting for, for a while now. So that's what I went and did. So at the end of that, uh, there is um, a new quest to pick up, which has you handing it into Nostormu, who is standing here right now. Clearly, obviously, Alexstrasza. So I'm, I'm assuming this is going to wrap up what we saw with the cinematic for 10.1.5. Um, yes, 10.1.5, um, which was the one that was still yesterday. I think I forget the name of it. Dawn of the Infinite, something on the Rise of the Infinite. I don't know. Anyway, um, I can't remember. That's so sad. It was only yesterday. But in any case... Um, there was a, there was a uh, cinematic for that, and um, and then there was a quest line, and it opened up Ian's Fringe and all the stuff in the area, and all the new and the time rifts, which is what a lot of us have been grinding for the last what month or so. And I mean, and then you could follow the quest line with Nosdormu, who sends you to go find Alex Straza, who seems troubled, and that's the Veranoth Alex Straza scene. You take care of that. And then, and then pretty much the plot stalls around there after you follow Morchi to, you know, the, uh, the temple here. And, uh, they, Chromian and Norsum are patiently wait outside the entrance for as long as you need them to. Uh, I thought that's where I was handing the question, but apparently he moved since then, so. Um, and once this person with their, their, their mount moves off the quest handler or quest giver he is sometimes quest giver they both are all right here we go we're going to turn this in i don't know if this is going to be a cut scene but let me make sure i'm cut scene ready it's very important all right and let's hand this in the sounds of time are plentiful but precious Oh, okay. There's two things I'm doing right now. Have you a moment, Arleia? We would like to have a word with you. So Dawn the Infinite Chrono Lord uh, Deus. That's what I just said. That's the, that's the dungeon one. The future will unfold as it was meant to. Dawn of the Infinite Chrono Lord Deus. It is all thanks to you, Arleia. You have saved us from the Infinite's terrible dawn. But even more so, you have saved me from a fate that I thought was all but inevitable. You have my internal gratitude. See, I'm already maxed out on the light stones. Ugh. All right. Complete quest. View balance upon the cusp of destiny. Now, keep in mind that if you've done end times, um, <laughs> you've killed Murazan <laughs> in front of Nosdurma. <laughs> so, there's still some speculation on what actually happened. Oh, no, 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 Chromie was there. Hey, Chromie. Um, this isn't speculation exactly what happened in this moment, but anyway, maybe, maybe we get more clarification with this. All that matters what? is this moment. I'm ready to speak with you and Alexstrasza. Certain events. Thank you, champion. Without you and Kronormu's bravery, I could not imagine what would have... No Stormu? No Stormu! Everything's back how it was. Not everything. The clouds in my vision have parted, and I can breathe without doubt or despair. I feel alive again, thanks to you. But what of Aridacron? While we stopped the Infinites, Eridicron escaped through a kind of void tear, taking Galakron's essence with him. A void gate? His dark dealings have come to fruition. It feels like he's leaving this war to his kin. His hatred for the Titans is all he cares about. Nuzdormu, can you perceive where he has gone? 
He has passed beyond my sight. All I see now are burning embers encroaching upon... Marithra must be warned. If Farrakh leads their forces now, he will be vicious and strike where we are most vulnerable. The World Tree. Yes. As dangerous as he is. For now, we must leave Eritochron to his schemes and steal ourselves for whatever Farrakh and Viranov are preparing to unleash. The defense of a Mirdrasi comes first. No matter what lies ahead, you were right, Tanorma. The future is worth fighting for. So no, I was I was trying not to start giggling when you said so I'm like, wait, wait for it, wait for it. Pass beyond my sight. <laughs> it's like So did anything really change? I mean, I've got questions here. Um, the biggest one being that we were able to unmake uh, Deathwing because we went back in time. And we had to kill Morazan to be able to look at. Don't don't try to follow me here. It's, this is what supposedly happened. Um, <laughs> I'm still probably mixing it up. To stop to stop to get rid of Morazan so that you can freely f travel between the timeways and then get the Dragon Soul. Uh, and then we're able to. Thrall had some like Earth stuff stuck to him, so they were able to use that to take care of the Neltharian piece that was missing the original one and that's how that the that's all how that happens and, and Dragon Soul and, and all that. Anyway, point is if you don't kill Murazon, if Murazon doesn't happen you don't kill Murazon, how does that affect the timeways in terms of you being able to stop Deathwing and a whole bunch of other stuff that resulted so yeah, I don't know. I figure we're going to find this out somehow, and I hope so, because I'm. This everything is okay now. I I don't know. Um, it's actually pretty. It it's pretty emotional because it's a decision Kronormu makes. Kromi makes, um. In like a moment of distress, and where she's upset that Nozdormu became Morazan, and she she's like not on my watch. Basically, I'm not gonna let that happen. I was like, I'm now gonna f with the time waves. And other folks have said this too. This is not I'm not the first one to say it. But they're like, I don't like how things are going. I'm gonna f with the time waves. Is a very infinite dragon flight kind of thing. <laughs> it's not preserving a one true timeline. She actually distorted it. And I'm not saying Chromie's really has some ulterior evil motive. I just think she did something she wasn't supposed to and there's going to be terrible repercussions. I, I don't know. I It's way, it hurts my brain when I start thinking about it too much, so I'm going to stop and turn in this quest right. There is only one true timeline. Sure. Um, I have fully <laughs> confronted a fear that haunted me for so long, too long. Morazan can now be left in the past. Rewind and reconcile. Um, again, I gotta put in a stream marker in. <laughs> um, you can choose here to speak with them once more, but to see the cutscene again. I, I don't know if you get to see it again after this. I don't know. Or I lose it forever, but... It's available online without the lag, so. Rewind and rec rewind and reconcile. <laughs> rewind and reconcile. Another time, perhaps. <sighs> when I needed these. I don't need them anymore. <laughs> but okay. They sell I can sell them. At least. They're not, I need the aspects, Chris. All right. So, complete quest. I get... Flight stones. Storm room. 
<laughs> I like you. I like you, but your rewards are shit right now. <laughs> I'm not happy with them. I am maxed out on flight stones. I don't need these anymore. Alright. <clears throat> Let's try this again and pretend that I'm not disappointed with the reward. Quinomaru mentioned that she found a time relic after your flight fight sorry, fight with Morchi. That device forced me to move quickly forward. Forced time, sorry. <laughs> sorry, timeless one. Uh, Quinoma mentioned that she found a time relic after your fight with Morchi. That device forced time to move quickly forward. It seems this relic of a similar power, only it can rewind the threads of time, returning one to an earlier point. I shall safeguard Ar Arlea. We would not want such a device to fall into the wrong hands. Okay. The one path must oh, Crummy's got a preserved. quest for me. Cool. If I click on you again, you can let me see the, the... Our final meeting. Or our first. Right. Does he now stay there till the end of the expansion? I can click on him just to see that again. Alright. Hmm. Haven't we done this before? No limits. After confronting the infinites and, well, myself, <laughs> we have a lot to think about. Eternus. Remember Eternus? One of the infinites has apparently been thinking a lot, too. The infinites want to change Nostormu into his infinite form, Murazan. We don't want that. And after learning about Nostormu, I think Eternus may be persuaded to not want that either. I set up a meeting between Nostormu and Eternus to get them talking, but I want someone else there in case something goes wrong. Check on Eternus and Nostormu. Eternus, if you don't remember, was the one Chromie was wrestling with when you were going through time and, and you had to go and get them back and you, had, you went back to the Black Empire and had all the old gods whispering to you? Uh, <laughs> okay, and there was also the other timelines. There was the um, Asmerloth Loth and all of that fun stuff anyway. So yeah, um, let's see how this goes. This is curious. I have not heard about this yet. This part has not been spoiled to me. I don't know if it's new as of now or it was always here in this this patch, but previous patch rather. But okay, let's see. Is this goodbye or hello? Eternus is lost, church. like you like you were, Nose Damon. If we can help her, then perhaps she will see our point of view. I will go to her. Thank you, Kermit. All right. So. Where do I go? <laughs> Open your mind to what is yet to come. All right. Oh, I will. Okay. Focus um, on the now. Oh, over here. Okay. Not too far. Oh, okay. Good on me. Eternus. Talk to Eternus. Those Domu just does not see what drives the infinite. That is his blind spot. Well, that, that, that's, that doesn't sound promising. No, listen, listen, Eternus. Nosdormu doesn't see a lot of things. That's kind of one of our biggest issues with him. Certainly not if it's time related. <laughs> I see you have a part to play in this. Sure. This will be a delicate meeting. Allow me to do the talking. I had no intention on doing the talking. Hey, knows Dharma. Do you know how this will turn out? What do you see? Sorry. Be mindful of which threads you pull on. What makes an infinite? Eternus clearly has something she wishes to impart to us. I am unsure where this conversation will lead, but I trust Chromie. But I trust Chromie. If she believes that Eternus can be swayed, I trust her judgment. When you are ready, I will see what she has to say. See what Eternus has to reveal. You, Eternus, I am honored oh. you accepted our invitation. Honored? Accepted our invitation? Such formality. 
I suppose I should not be surprised. It is no secret that our flights view our timeline differently. But I had hoped to meet to discuss peace between us. Peace? You have no idea what drives us, Nostormo. Why we embrace the Infinite's ethos? Then help me understand. I seek to mend the rift between our peoples. Tell me, what was your reason, Eternus? My reason? My reason is more I adore me. Yeah, troll. Troll visage. First thing I noticed, I was like, oh, troll? I guess I have Change to ask Change is Thank good. Thank you. Thank you. Because <laughs> I was like, who's more dormy? I am tired of importance being ascribed to arbitrary events in the timeline. Hmm. Who is more dormy? More I dormy is, was, my sister. She died at the hands of the Black Dragonflight. I wanted to save her. I was denied. Sometimes, moments in time must stay as they are for reasons that are not readily apparent. I have turned that moment over and over in my mind. There is nothing not one reason why she should have been lost to me. <laughs> he is the head of looking. <laughs> uh, Our paths cross at last. We have the power to make things better. How can we not act? May your possibilities be infinite. I'm just saying, they've given her a lot of voice acting. And friendly, kinda? She's not wrong at all. And it's like... Time is set in sand, not stone. There is more than one way to solve any problem. Question everything. Time is set in sand, not stone. I'm doing that for a reason, because I'm like, they gave her a whole set of dialogue. Which I'm going to assume we're going to be seeing a lot more of, of uh, Eternus. Um, so, uh, Nostromo, um, she's got a point. I mean, after all, hi, hi, hi person. Um, after all, after all, you wouldn't be here if someone didn't just screw with the timeline. So... Seeing all of time is my fate and my curse. So the loss of her sister Moradore me is at the root of everything. Certain events More are flight stones. inevitable. Eternus intends to show us what happened. I think she also seeks to change the past. Normally I would not entertain this idea. But understanding the infinites is the only way forward. Enter the time rift to witness the past. Oh, okay. Oh, then show me, Eternus. So be it. And if my sister can be saved, then you must concede that the Infinite's point of view is valid. Grief. It hurts us all. And sometimes blinds us. But I hope for what it is worth, that she is right. Before I Our go final there. meeting. We should follow her. First. Yeah, I was gonna do that. I was checking with you. All right. Time rift. Okay. This is interesting. I did. Th this is a total surprise to me. Like I don't know if this is ten point one seven content, ten point one five content. I completely stayed out of this loop. I'm happy about that. <laughs> Oh, I know where we are. <laughs> I 
Change oh. is good. We have the power to make things okay. I can't move. Remember, some rules are meant to be broken. You are free now. Step forward to where time fragments gather, and then I'll, I will unpause them and we will start. Wait, hold on. I want to read the dialogue here. Eternus, I have held time so you would not miss Nosdormi, uh, more Dormi's fate. Um, Nosdormi. <laughs> um, just wait for me, Nosdormi. Uh, when I let go, you will see my sister's pointless death. Nosdormi says, Eternus, why did you time lock Arleia? <laughs> Yeah, why did you? Um, I do not want them to interfere yet, Eternus says. You are free now. Step forward to where the time fragments gather, then I will unpause time and we will start. Our paths cross right. at last. So, is this where I'm going to? Oh. Okay. Watch history unfold. I was already stealthy, but it's okay. We're all stealthy. Where, where? I missed something. No, I need you to play that back because I totally missed. There, it begins. That is the Ximia, one of the black dragons that fell into madness. Most, most of them. Um, where Dormi yells, I do not want to fight you, Vex, Vex, Vexamia. Eternus says, where Dormi made her last stand here. That monster killed her. Eternus says, but it doesn't have to be that way. We can change the past and save her. Okay over there? I, I missed the dragon that was there. Was I supposed to miss the dragon that was there? No, that was not. That's, um, um, her name is, um, something else. Uh, but that wasn't it. That wasn't Verstrauss's, uh, friend. He killed her, so... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just, again... I mean, we're just going to keep watching this over and over again, huh? Okay, cool. Uh, I still don't see the dragon that's killing her. Which makes me either suspicious or going blizz, bug. But anyway. Yeah, no, her name, I think, began with the D. But I can't remember it offhand now. But, um, but yeah. I have, I have not yet to see a black dragon in here doing the killing. But anyway. All that matters I'm going to assume it's bugged or something else. Not today, fate. Everyone's so keen on screwing with time, preserving the true, one true timeline, huh? What's that? Oh, I'm guessing I'm going to have to fight something soon, right? <laughs> I think I'm getting bleed through on other people doing this quest. That definitely looked like um, a Shadowlands spell type thingy. Okay, no storm. Yeah, no, all right. I'm a little better now. Um, could it be possible to help Moradormi on the surface? It may seem like we can, but I sense something is off here. Why was Vexemia chasing her? What will happen if Exemia does not move on? I feel like we are missing something. We're missing Vexemia. <laughs> but, again, don't know if that's a bug or we're not supposed to actually see where the blow came from. See, there's nothing here, I'm telling you. Alright. Complete quest. Be mindful of which threats you pull on. What do you intend to change, Eternus? We should tread lightly here. I will do what I must, Osramu. 
There is more than one way to solve any problem. Well, according to this, violence will solve it. Do you not agree that Moradoru can be saved? We infinites often save those we think suffered needlessly, worthy or not. Supposedly, Mori died too close to the caverns of time just east of us. Using too much time magic here could have consequences. Oh, okay. But this should be quick. Chrono Lord Deus was, Deus was in possession of artifacts that could forcefully rewind time. I think I've encountered those. The Bronze Dragon Fight has them now. We will rewind time and then destroy Vexemia. Simple. Rewind time and defend Moradormi from Vexemia's attack. So I guess that's the thing we brought back that we just uh So maybe there was like a gap in that in that quest line and I just didn't get around to it because I I couldn't do the dungeon because I couldn't get in on a, a mythic. Anyway. Um except We will meet again. Miss Dormo. You can easily rewind time, can you not? Yes, though I'll use the Chroma Lord's artifact to reduce the pressure on the timeline. Join me, Arlea. These sands will protect you from the forced rewind. All right. <laughs> Didn't mean to step there in. There is so only one oh. true timeline. Okay, there are choices. I, I always like. It's always good to click a few times. Well, first let me click Another on her again. This will be easy, which makes one wonder why the Bronze Dragon fight did not do it before. Sorry, Mordorno. Precious. <laughs> I would like to help you turn us if we can. Is rewinding a bad idea? An overuse of rewinding can cause the timeline to corrode, which could create dust, fractures, elementals, or worse. My interference could cause even greater impact. I will assist in these rewinds of time to allow Eternus some resolution within limits. Good to keep in mind. Can you tell me more about the artifact we got from Chrono, Chrono Lord Deus? The artifact has the ability to force time into retreat for a short, very short time with a few side effects. Few, but not zero side effects. Thank you for explaining. All right. The one path must be preserved. Okay, there we go. There's there there must be the dragon. She's big. Who are you? Oh, we turn us. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck are they doing? I don't know. I thought he turned us was like betrayed me. Why am I not so? Wait, I can't target her right now. Defend her. Oh, okay. I have allies as well. Assist me, my brood. No. How is the outcome the same? I must reset. I'm pausing time again. Uh oh. Um. Okay. Not good. Mr. Mu. Mr. Mu. Okay. <laughs> I see you have a part to play okay. in this. Okay. All right. Time is set in sand, not stone. We were overwhelmed by her companions. Where Dormy was, was still killed. I need another strategy. One that will actually protect her. She is what matters. Go rewind time, including our actions. After the rewind, I will hold time in place. Then we can try to make defenses for her. After rewinding time, create defenses for Mordori and test them. 
question everything. Tell Nustarm which use artifact to rewind again. There is a way, I know it. Turnus. We are trying again, Nostarmu. Uh, Nostarmu. Open your mind to what is yet to come. Okay. Bad idea. The future will oh. unfold as it was meant to. Well, at least it didn't show me making really silly mistakes. That's the only reason I found Dragon Ball that way. But we can use it. Good. No, Stormy says that. All right, what is going on? Because I keep missing dialogue. Um, each attempt creates time fissures. Meh. Pardon me. Each temple create time fissures. That is one reason the bronze fight does not meddle in this way. Be careful, Arleia. But we can use the ambient energy of the fissure elementals to make a shield. Yes! Nostrum says, that is unethical. Time may flow like sand, but it can also be as brittle as glass. The fissures, do not tell me what I already know. I will do what I must for more Dormi. So I think I have to kill these things, yes. Okay. I'm assuming. That is what I'm doing. <laughs> And this is location. And those are the ruins of Oldham, but I was like, it's that place, isn't it? Where you where you do the thing and you get the chest. I was actually visiting it last week or so. At least that one dropped too. There are eggs here. Bronze eggs. Okay. Pour the sand into the hourglasses I conjured. Come back. Come back when all four are in place. Now I'll use them to shield her. Don't like this. I don't like it. Was this debuff? Time shifted. Experience a past event with Eternus. Okay.
This is an exceptionally strong shield. It may withstand the attack. Do not patronize me. I know it will work. Please, we were friends. No, fight me instead. Not again. And the eggs destroyed. No, no, no. I thought for sure it would work. Change is good. What else can we do? Remember, some rules are meant to be broken. <laughs> I was not any better. It was clearly even worse. I'm trying not to lose focus. What if we attacked again or... Question everything. The fate we make. We just need to be stronger and faster. We cannot leave it like this. Not with the eggs also destroyed. I'll come up with another idea. Restart time and... I turn aside. Perhaps I'll listen to Nostromo. He keeps telling me I've missed something. Rewind history again and see what Nostromo has to, has to say. Shouldn't do in the opposite order and ask him Dorm what he has to say before rewind history. We will meet again. Let time flow as it will turn us. There is something you must see. Oh. You expect me to do nothing while my sister dies? Please, Eternus. It is unpleasant, but indulge me this once. Oh. Oh. Nostromo, when you get like that. When you get like that, it's bad. Oh, this is all bad. All right. Seeing all of time is my fate and my curse. Just checking in for extra dialogue. Don't mind me. All right. Some rules are meant to be broken. Rewind time. Dormy will die again. We need to act now. As Dormus has says, I will rewind time again myself if this does not go as I foresee. Eternus, you expect something different from doing nothing? No, I cannot watch. I'm pausing. I need time to think. Am I killing more of these? Open Dermis? your mind to what is yet to come. Our paths Oh, oh, we got choices. All right. I may not have another good idea, but we should keep trying. Maybe something will change. Please just give Nostromo's idea a chance. It's the first option. First, well, your way hasn't worked so far. That's pretty shitty. <laughs> Make a very compelling and extensive argument to attempt to distract Eternus. What would Arleia do? She's gonna try to appeal to reason first. She's, she's gonna say give Nosdorm. Nosdorm clearly has something he wants to show you. He withholds a lot of shit. When he wants to show you something, even if it's gonna suck, you should definitely listen to him. That has been my experience. So I'm gonna go with number one. And then if number one doesn't work, I'm gonna go with number three. That... Fine, I will give him one more chance, though I failed to see the point. Thank you. Do 
not want to fight you. But, oh, she finally shows up. Then you'll be an easy kill. She's dead again. Why did you make me watch this? May your possibilities be infinite. Go to her, Atreus. Okay. My sister. I am sorry. The child. Keep them safe. Child? Things are not always what they seem. Come out, little one. You are safe now. A newborn whelp. Born during the confrontation with Vexemia, Morai Dormi knew if she did not distract her... Vexemia would have killed the whelp and destroyed the eggs. She died. My sister chose to die for our future. She's gone now. Go on, get help. You can make it. You will make it. I... Let us leave this place. Well, that was some unexpected emotional stuff. Okay. Um, Darwin. Seeing all of time is my fate and my curse. <sighs> Moradormu. Mormon Moradormi. May you always walk paths of time in our memory. Will the eggs be okay? <laughs> yes, the newborn whelp will bring aid. All of them will survive. Thank you for explaining. Because you know... You balance upon the cusp of destiny. Bad experience with eggs and Anyway. <clears throat> there is more than one way to solve any problem. More dormy, the well I see now. We will meet again. Final meeting, or our Can you do first. something about her appearing over and over again? Anyway, infinity and beyond. If we continue to look into the past, we miss out on the present, or even the future. Let us return to Thaldrassus. Do not worry about these time fracture elementals. They too will heal over time, as we all do. Return to the present to check in with Crummy. I get some armor. Cool. You get more of these I don't need. It's fine. It's fine. Another time, perhaps. I'll be with you momentarily. Is that a time joke? I like how it's optional to take it, like, I'm just going to take the long way back to Veltrek. <laughs> well, not really. I haven't heard so. It's kind of nice little... Oh, hey, Turnus. Our paths cross I have at a lot last. to think about. Remember, some rules are meant to be broken. I hope this experience can bring us together. The future will unfold. Komi speaks to you in hushed tones. So how did it go? <laughs> Your choices are. I learned that even if we can change something, it doesn't mean we should. We couldn't save more Dormi. She made the choice to give her life for a whelp. 
I learned that time travel is kind of terrible, actually. <laughs> yeah, I have characters that would respond with that, but not Arleia. Arleia, what would she respond with? Um, Until next time. Oh my, I feel so sorry for Eternus. I hope she has finally found peace. I see you have a part to play in this. Where'd she go? Oh, she went and sat down next to Eternus. We all learned something new today, myself included. Time never stops teaching. It falls to all of us to always listen and learn. Be mindful of which threads you... There's Dono. Are you going to tell me you were right? No. Because I was not. Marai Dormi's death was a tragedy. It should not have happened. I did not see the whole truth. My sister chose her fate. As a steward of this timeline, I must always take the greater good and the free will of others into account. But you reminded me, Eternus, that compassion must be considered. Some events are worth changing because our hearts wish it so. On that, I agree with the Infinites. You never wish to become Morazont. I wanted my aspect, but... I too must remember compassion. And it tells me to follow you, just as you are. I will help you, but convincing the other infinites will take time. That, Eternus, we have in abundance. I knew I could trust you with this champion. <laughs> nice work. It's so nice to see you.